Hello everyone, my name is Austin Thomas. I am a graduate student from Western Michigan University. The co-authors for this presentation are shown below, and this is the SwarmX Education Programs and the Development of a Collaborative CubeSat Swarm. SwarmX Missions program goals are separate into three distinct categories, science, engineering, and education. First, to give a brief overview of this project, the SwarmX Path to Finder mission is a National Science Foundation sponsored mission which utilizes three identical CubeSats and by demonstrating the SwarmX key technologies and addressing scientific questions related to space weather. This presentation's focus will be put on the educational goals. Six institutions are participating in the mission. The University of Southern Alabama, Stanford University, the University of Colorado Boulder, Georgia Tech, Olin College, and Western Michigan University. The collaboration partners Universities with significant CubeSat experience, such as Stanford University, Colorado Boulder, Georgia Tech, with institutions in the early stages of CubeSat development that have not yet launched a satellite, including University of Southern Alabama, Olin College, and Western Michigan University. SwarmX mission uniquely fosters opportunities for STEM education and enables a platform for public outreach. Shown here is an entire SwarmX team made up of members from each of the six institutions. Our team brings together a wide range of members with varying levels of experience, including undergraduate students, graduate students, staff, and faculty. Currently, the Education and Public Outreach team has been pursuing four primary goals. First, as mentioned, this project provides a unique opportunity for cross-institutional mentoring activities for all of its members. The Education and Public Outreach team has also been developing a CubeSat Slack channel acting as a repository for CubeSat knowledge and expertise. Next, we've been working on a set of surveys giving us a better idea of who is participating in the project. And finally, a series of lectures have been and are continuing to be developed on a wide variety of STEM-related topics. Now, SwarmX will establish the first intercollegiate CubeSat mentoring program. This will allow partnering institutions that have established CubeSat programs to partner with new programs, creating long-term project-based learning environments across the nation. Teaching, training, and learning will also be advanced through the inclusion of students from all collegiate levels from each of the six university programs involved in SwarmX. Each institution is leading the development of at least one subsystem, and subsystem teams have memberships from at least two of the universities. As stated, one of our efforts is to survey our participants of the project. There are four surveys that will be conducted a demographic survey, an entry survey, an annual survey, and an exit survey. These surveys will allow our team to determine the demographics, subsystem interest, familiarity with CubeSat design tools, and how well the cross-institutional mentoring pro provided preparation for future goals. As a student who joins SwarmX, they will take the entry survey, allowing us to gain a better understanding of what skills they currently possess while first joining the project. The following two surveys will have similar questions as the entry survey, with additional questions regarding how participating in the project has gone, including questions about their involvement, experiences in the project, along with skills that have gained while participating in the project. The purpose of the surveys is to allow the education and public outreach team to be able to track the progress and technical capabilities of the participating members. We are hoping to gain a better understanding of what participants bring to and take away from participating in the project as an outcome of these surveys. Shown in the image to the right are a few examples of survey questions. The leftmost simply asks, what is the member's major? While the other two ask questions about the member's involvement and skill set. Before going into our CubeSat Slack channel, I want to discuss what resources are currently available. Three of these current resources are NASA Small Spacecraft Systems Virtual Institute, S3VI, GoSat, and the CubeSat 101 document. S3VI utilizes a collection of resources such as web technologies, databases, and virtual collaboration tools to gather a variety of small spacecraft knowledge for the benefit of NASA and the community. The second resource, GoSat, has been building a community consisting of engineers and students, allowing them to share experiences, knowledge, and other CubeSat-based resources. And lastly, NASA's CubeSat 101 document details the basic concepts and procedures to lay out everything you need for a team to begin their first CubeSat and turning it into an actual ready to launch the spacecraft. Now this is where the CubeSat Slack channel created by the SwarmX team stands out. Our Slack channel provides a personal 
approach where one-on-one -on -one conversations between CubeSat teams or students and experts in their field can converse about a topic. The experts participating in the CubeSat Slack channel provide detailed responses directly to the member who posed the question. In the following slides, an example of such a conversation is displayed. First, you go into what the channel is a bit more. This channel has been one of the primary efforts of the Educational and Public Outreach team. The purpose of this Slack channel is to introduce students and new CubeSat teams to experts and experienced teams. This channel will be a place where new CubeSat teams go to learn and find specific information or advice on CubeSat topics. These topics can include tips for building and designing CubeSats, information on hardware or software, acquiring mentorships, and building relationships between developed CubeSat teams and new teams. Overall, the channel will act as a repository for CubeSat knowledge and expertise. Currently, the channel has secured memberships of a variety of subject matter experts in all areas of CubeSat development, including launch, operations, INT, electrical power systems, structures, communications, propulsions, and GNC. The team has recently begun opening up the channel so that groups designing and building CubeSats have a place to go and find information and get questions answered about the various subsystems, testings, and non-orbit operations. And as of now, the channel is sitting at 98 total members, including both students and experts. Displayed here are the universities currently participating in the CubeSat Slack channel. On the right, a conversation between a student from Western Michigan University asking questions about GPS telemetry, house scheme data, and what typically is done by CubeSats immediately after deployment. Students' questions are answered in detail by two of our content experts, each of which provide clear explanations. The student now has not just had their questions answered, but has made connections with the content experts who they can refer to later with future questions on similar topics. This is one example of the benefits students and new CubeSat teams receive when participating in the channel. The channel can also be utilized as a potential tool for setting up and advertising academic material such as lectures or webinars on successful CubeSat programs. This information will be available to anyone participating in the channel to go to and use these materials to aid themselves in their CubeSat endeavors or to simply learn about a new topic. Also, while using this resource, Participants will have access to a frequently asked questions document and a getting started document for CubeSat developers and educators. These will serve as a reference in which the participants can go and look over previous discussions on various topics to aid them in their design of a particular CubeSat system. Now the last objective of the Education Public Outreach Team is a seminar series. These series are a set of lectures covering topics in applied STEM. The presenters of the lectures are all current participants of the SwarmX project. Shown here is the next upcoming topic covering general measurements and instrumentation along with instrumentation used in the SwarmX project. Three of the past topics which have been covered over the course of the project are displayed below. These include the CU E3 CubeSat mission, academic journey and past research projects, and application of engineering principles to RME slash MFO operations in Egypt. Summarize the current efforts of the Education and Public Outreach Team. Cross-institutional mentoring will continue having more experienced programs and newer programs as their CubeSat groups progress. The Slack channel will continue to be open for discussion on CubeSat-related topics, and new members are, of course, always welcome. The Education and Public Outreach Team has a goal of completing the surveys, allowing us to gain a better understanding of our current and future members. And finally, as mentioned, the seminar series has new upcoming lectures. Thank you for your time. Take any questions.